Does your furry friend take over your bed every night? It's time to reclaim your space while giving them the comfort they deserve with the coldest, cozy dog bed. Don't wait. Check out the link in the video description to buy now on Amazon. Freddie Flintoff looked in great spirits as he was seen out and about in London on Wednesday. The former cricket captain, 46, was seen smiling and laughing as he chatted away to people outside the swanky Charlotte Street Hotel. The sports star appeared friendly as he continues to put his Top Gear horror crash firmly behind him 18 months on from the incident. Keeping it casual, Freddy, whose real name is Andrew, opted for a grey Nike sweatshirt and cargo black shorts. He completed the look with some white Nike sports and white Crocs as he was seen engaging with fans. Freddy was driving an open-top sports car at 130 miles per hour when it flipped over at Dunsfold Airfield in Surrey in December 2022, leaving him lucky to be alive. Fans of the star have been relieved to see his recovery taking good shape after he became the new head coach of the Superchargers. While Flintoff kept a low profile initially in the aftermath of the incident, he has started returning to the public eye in recent months. Although evidence of his injuries were at first clearly visible, they are already starting to fade somewhat. Bosses at the BBC felt it would be inappropriate to carry on filming Top Gear in wake of what happened. In a statement, the broadcaster said, Given the exceptional circumstances, the BBC has decided to rest the UK show for the foreseeable future. The BBC remains committed to Freddie, Chris and Patty who have been at the heart of the show's renaissance since 2019, and were excited about new projects being developed with each of them. We will have more to say in the near future on this. We know resting the show will be disappointing news for fans, but it is the right thing to do. Freddy was first seen in public following the crash in September last year when he was photographed with cuts on his face. He was spotted making a return to senior England cricket by joining the coaching staff at Cardiff Sophia Gardens for the one-day international series against New Zealand as a mentor. It was not the first time filming for Top Gear caused serious injuries both Richard Hammond and Jeremy Clarkson have previously told of awful crashes which has seen them need urgent medical attention while filming the BBC show. In the aftermath of the accident, Freddie's wife Rachel reportedly begged him to stay off work perhaps influencing his decision to return to the relatively gentle world of cricket, as opposed to the increasingly daring lifestyle he lived before his crash. A source told The Sun, as a loving husband and dad he understands the fear his family feel about what's happened, knowing that he could have been killed. He is determined to resume his TV work at some point though. That's why this decision will be a painful one for Freddie. But he knows that, for now at least, there are more important things in life. And Freddie's son Rocky seems to be following his father's cricket footsteps after he hit a superb century for England's under 19th on day 3 of their second unofficial test against Sri Lanka on Thursday. The teenage player, 16, converted his overnight 82 into three figures off 176 balls before being dismissed five deliveries later for 106. Rocky signed his first professional contract at Lancashire last month, having made a ton for the second team, while he also hit a match-winning 106 to help England under 19s beat a Young Lions Invitational 11 at Loughborough. At just 16 years of age, Rocky has become the youngest player to hit a century for the England U19s. He will be eager to follow in his father's footsteps, with Andrew having played 79 tests, 141 one-day internationals and 7 T20s across a glittering career. The all-rounder, whose England career spanned between 1999 and 2009, was integral to England's historic ashes against Australia in 2005.